Go. I, you should really care about, it's always important to care what other people think or how people, cause like that's what connects us. I mean, like I, I wanna do the best thing I can, but sometimes like it stops like, you know, I'm, I'm insecure. I feel weird about a, a bunch of stuff. Like I'm awkward about stuff, but I just, you know, I wish I didn't feel that way so much that it stopped me from doing what I really love doing. Cause everybody's afraid you know, everybody's so afraid now of like offending and being misunderstood, and that's gonna happen. You know? yeah. So, yeah. Because the internet seems schizophrenic, I'm like, yeah, being young and black in America is schizophrenic. You have to kind of change who you are a little bit all the time for people to even respect you. I don't wanna work for people. If anything, I wanna work for my dreams, I wanna work for my goals, I wanna work for something I stand for. Define success for yourself early. And it can change, it's okay. But just like, know that like success is something that you define for yourself and it can't really be defined by anybody else for you because everybody else kind of full of shit. Like life is an expression. Like my life is online and I post pictures and so is yours, like everybody's like, it's an expression, it's a movie. You know, you can't live alone anymore, really. I read a quote, um, and I want to make sure you record it correctly, where you said you never want to work for anyone. Yeah, I don't want a boss. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need that. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't really know. Everybody's so afraid now they don't do shit. They're just paralyzed by it. They just don't do it. And that's bullshit. It's a dumb reason not to do what you want. I don't want to be accepted it's anymore. So, it's, no. like, it's like, I don't want to be the black dude you want me to be. Like, it's like, I want to be me all the time. Like, yes, if somebody tests me, if I got to get in a fight, I'm still a nigga from Atlanta. I will test you back. Like, I don't give a fuck. I learned last year the most important thing, and that is, like, you know, the only love that's reciprocal is love of self. You really have to like yourself. That's the thing. And that's the only thing. You can't rely on other people. That's whack. It's so whack to be like, please fill in these holes in me that like, I don't think I'm strong enough. Like, that's whack. The, in the, the, the internet is just in love with nostalgia because we're afraid to move forward. Like, that's, that's basically what it is. It's like people are just like, that's why, that's what Tumblr is. That it's just like, we don't want to move forward because we're afraid because we see our mistakes so fast now. Yeah. For what I'm fighting for right now and not just, I'm not doing this in music. This is not about rap. I'm an artist. This is about life. I'm trying to be real because the internet isn't real. There's so much shit that happens online and people perceive it and it's packaged as real, but nothing's real anymore. My man. Like, I'm not against bullying. Like, that's the world. You're not powerful. against bullying? I'm not. What do you mean? I'm not against, like, bullying because I feel like the world is bullies. Like, there's so many people who are going to tell you that what your, your idea is stupid or, like, you don't belong here or you don't deserve certain things. W and like, wouldn't it be a better, a it'd be better, a better place? place if people didn't do that? But you're saying you, you're not against it because it's unrealistic to be against it? I'm saying like we probably wouldn't have Kanye West, Bill Gates, or anyone without someone being like, you're not worth it. What do you think we all can do to make a little bit more magic in the world and make it a little bit better? I think honestly right now we live in a time where things are very divisive. And you know, I think... Meryl Streep was, was speaking on this a lot, where it's like, we all have a lot of responsibility. And I remember going to school because I wasn't allowed to talk about magic and I wasn't allowed, I knew Santa Claus was fake, but I was around a lot of kids who didn't know that. So you have that responsibility to keep that going and understand why you're doing it because of joy. So I, I think human joy is super important. It doesn't come from computers. It, doesn't, it just comes from belief. You know, acting, making music, all that stuff is believing in something that you, maybe someone older doesn't truly believe, but like when you see it in a child, it makes you kind of believe it again. You know, because we forget how innocent and beautiful we were. So I think, yeah, it's our responsibility to make magic again, because I think a lot of the shit that's happening now is bullshit. Right. People want the truth, you know, and I feel like that's the through line in all everything I do. Like, if you give them the truth, people get excited because they feel like they're reading your diary. Just like life is just like learning about how to let go about stuff because like you really can't enjoy things for what they are while you're in it. Like as soon as you're in high school, once you're like, oh, I get high school, you're out of high school. You're like once you're like in your 20s, you're like, 
oh, I get it. I know I'm supposed to, you're done. It's all about the experience. From now on, I only want to make dope shit. No, what I am. The, uh, the, uh, the Spelling Bee one is... The Spelling Bee one is <laughs> still my mom's favorite. Like, I, I like all those sketches. I think they do. And um, the dude... <laughs> the dude with the dictionary. He's way too like, much in the slip, beginning slip. for it to be the N-word. Like, he's... I was like, come on, he's in B right now. He's in B. Come on, man. <laughs> Study your <laughs> shit. Oh, how about the dictionary? <laughs> <laughs> I just love that you paid attention to that. 